Hey YouTube, it's Sticky. Uh, sorry for the sort of brightness and everything. I got the blinds open, and it's actually it's actually pretty cloudy, overcasted. I guess you want to say. The weather is a little iffy today. Um, here in Wisconsin, southeast, south central area. Um, anyways, uh, this video is about uh, a new everyday carry. Uh, a new pistol, yeah, a new pistol, um, and the reasons why I got the new pistol and got rid of another one, and uh, just a little uh, update on something I did for my everyday carry. Um, so it's kind of a everyday carry pistol review type deal, um, but I'm not going to get into far uh, with the pistol. Um, uh, so anyways, uh, let's get started. So, um, I got a thinking, and, uh, as you know, I carried the Bursa Thunder Pro, um, in 9mm on a daily basis, uh, especially with the weather being cold outside, you can wear longer shirts, jackets, so you, carrying a full-size pistol is completely easy. Um, but I wanted... You know, after, you know, thinking and looking and always trying to find a holster for the thing, it's something that, you know, wasn't leather, you know, you know, it was Kydex or hybrid, you know, just something a little nicer than what I had. And I just couldn't find anything. And uh, I know there was probably, I'm pretty sure, uh, a Phobus SG239 holster um, probably would have fit it, but... I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to rely on one holster brand. I wanted a variety of holster brands. I wanted options. Um, and I couldn't get many options with this pistol. The only place that really had a variety of options was either the Eagle Imports website or uh, CondorFlight.com, that website. Um, and otherwise, I really, it, you know, don't get me wrong. Bursts of firearms are freaking amazing. Um, they're just not, at least some models of the firearm just aren't really kicking off here in the US. Um, their Thunder 3A kicked off stupendously. Like, you, you can always probably go into every gun shop and there's going to be a Thunder 380 there. Um, BPs, uh, CCs, 9mm 380, pretty sure you can find that in the shop. Uh, 380 UC or the uh, sorry not UC uh, 380 plus um, and everything so you could definitely fire in Bursa in the fire in the gun shops is just when you get to like the Thunder Pro or now of course now they're gonna start selling the Pro XT um, which is their competition shooter and supposed to you know kind of like how Springfield XD had the 5.25 that's a competition pistol. Um, well, the XD is their, or the, not the XD, the XT is their competition pistol. <clears throat> um, and you could, I guess you could say that, you know, with Glock, with their Glock 17 long, or, you know, Glock 30, you know, whatever they, they use for a competition, everything. Um, you know, so, but, uh, yeah, anyways, um, I actually got rid of my Versa Thunder Pro. Um, I actually traded it in towards uh, Glock 19. That's probably my wife bugging me again. Um, so I, the reason why I got the Glock 19, sorry, I'm going to have to actually check this. Otherwise, my wife is going to just nonstop. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, it is loaded. And I'm not going to unload it. I'm going to show you that it's loaded. See? There's the ammo right there. And I'm not going to unload it because um, if this were to happen to go off at the screen, you're not going to get injured. I'm going to have the cops call on me because, you know, my firearm went off and everything. But um, I'm, you know, I'm going to handle this thing with care and... I don't really have to show you much anything. Everyone knows what a Glock looks like. There's really no difference between a Gen 4 and a Gen 3 besides the stippling, the back strap, trigger's still the same, sights are still the same. Spring, recoil spring is different. It's supposed to help absorb recoil 
better than what the single spring was. And and I think that was a very, very good idea on their part because especially, you know, with people that, um, you know, if they want to use this for competition, get the Glock 19, but they want to use a hotter round, heavier, hotter round, the, the recoil is gonna, probably going to bother them a little bit. So having that, you know, that, you know, that dual spring, recoil spring probably helps out a lot. I really don't know. I haven't fired this pistol. Um, if I do usually shoot ammo for 9mm, I'm always usually usually shooting a 115 grain full metal jacket. Because my self defense round, which is Horny's critical defense, is 115 grains. So I try to incorporate, um, let me put my pistol down, I try to incorporate to match up the full metal jacket to my conceal, you know, what I would have for personal protection. So I shoot 115 grains. That's a perfect good pistol for your average encounter engagement is about seven to 10 yards, give or take. So I'm pretty sure I'm good to go. Um, uh, so, but the reason why I got the Glock Gen 4 because it's very versatile. When I mean very versatile, I mean one Glock is well known. I do not care about what the pistol looks like, okay? It looks like a pistol. It's a pistol. It's for personal protection. If you think that, oh, I don't want this pistol, I don't want that pistol because how it looks, if you're going off a fashion statement, you should not own a firearm, period. You you are just a problem in the firearm community, period. Basing your selection on a firearm just because how it looks, you're retarded. I'm going to flat out, you are just the dumbest retarded firearm owner, period. You're the, you're the same idiot that thinks that 45 caliber is a man-stopping caliber. You're an idiot, okay? Because if 45 was a main stop of caliber, then why would we need any other caliber in the world? I mean, come on. A, a, a human being is roughly half the size, depending on where, what part of the country you live in, because I'm 115 pounds. I weigh just as much as a white-tailed deer down in Georgia. It's sad. I'm a scrawny little thing. You really don't got much meat on me. Now, you come up here to, you know, Wisconsin and Wyoming and, you know, Canada and everything, you got some big bruises. Even Iowa has bigger deer than what Georgia does. And sometimes they have bigger deer than what we have. Now, so saying that, if if I'm 115 pounds and a 45 is a man stopping power, then nobody needs anything else besides a 45 for deer hunting. I mean, seriously, people, you if you believe 45 is a man stuff and, you know, ammo power thing, you're retarded. Don't own any firearms. You know, matter of fact, send your firearms to my FFF dealer so I can do everything legally and take your firearms off your hands because you shouldn't own them. Um, anyways, glad I got that rant over with. Um, but the, like I said, I wanted something that was really versatile, so I wanted a... Uh, a well-known pistol that had a lot of aftermarket um, parts and accessories, you know, sights, and you know, if I needed something with the grip, which I don't think I need because these, are, these, you know, the stippling on this actually reminds me of the little, uh, uh, little stud tires that you get on an RC buggy car. Um, so I, I really like the stippling. I think the step one nice. The grip is nice. I have small hands. For a man, I have small hands. Um, so this grip is absolutely perfect. Because usually I have a problem when if see if I could. I'm just gonna drop the magazine out. I'm not gonna clear the. Now you could tell that it doesn't go all the way down past my palms. Even with the magazine out, this still feels comfortable. And that's one of the things I look at for a pistol, is how well it's comfortable in my hand without the magazine and with the magazine. Um, so it's very comfortable. 
Uh, 15 rounds plus thing. It's it. Yeah, it's got a weight to it. It's gonna have weight to it. It's a firearm. Um, if you don't want something that has a lot of weight to it, then just get a little Derringer or carry a stick or a knife or something like that. I mean, seriously. Um, so, uh, but what I will replace on this when I can is the sights. I'm gonna get the XS standard dot sights uh, with the tritium. Um, and the only reason why I'm doing that is because with this sight, I'm gonna take the rear sight off and put on my Bursa uh, just because the Bursa BP, the original sights are just complete crap. They look like it came out of a bubblegum machine. Um, but otherwise, these sights right here, if you're just getting the firearms and everything like that, go ahead and use these sights. Um, I just want a more uh, personal protection sight, I guess you want to say. And the XS ones are like combat sights. They're for rapid uh, accusate or, you know, you know what you want to talk about, uh, target accusation or whatever you want to say. So it's something, there are sites that I could quickly pull up and bam. Like I don't really have to try to get a great site picture. I just pull up, bam. It's, it's, and even at 7 to 10 yards, you should just be able to get in the muscle. See, still finger control. Glock safety comes with three safeties. But every firearm comes with two additional. Your finger or booger picker and your brain. You need common sense. So anyways, you, when you're getting into carrying a firearm and you're using it for, for personal protection, look at a lot of the videos you see on YouTube. Most of the time people are engaging from one foot to like maybe 10 yards away, whatever how many feet that is or whatever. Um, some people might engage someone at 21 feet away, but typically it's from one, you know, feet to 10 yards or whatever, you know, you really don't have a huge gap. So you should be able to get to a point that when you extend your pistol out, it should just be muscle memory that when you, you know, fire off three rounds, you're going to hit the target, whether or not it's a group this big or it's a group this big. As long as you hit the target, you're good. Because all you're trying to do is to stop the perpetrator. You're not trying to kill. You're trying to make him stop. Stop attacking me. Stop attacking this person. You know, telling you to stop. If you don't stop, I'm going to use, you know, lethal force on you. You lose, use the lethal force. You're not trying to kill the person. You're trying to stop the person. So, you know, make sure you get that through your head. You're, when I, you know, when I'm carrying this, I'm not thinking, oh, you know, maybe today's the day I'm going to kill someone. No. Every time I put this pistol on, it's okay, hopefully today's going to be a good day, nothing happens. I pray I never have to use that. And if I do use that, I hope the person does survive. Okay, I don't want to kill anybody. I want to stop the person that's either trying to harm me, my family, or an innocent bystander near me. Um, I'm not going to go out there and try to look for a fight. I'm not going to try to jump into a situation where I might feel that it might have a bad, a worse income than a good, you know, a better income. So, or outcome, I mean. So, I'm, you know, it, it, it takes a lot of training, a lot of mentality. To figure out exactly, uh, you know, if you should even be carrying or not. Um, so, you know, there's, you know, that's the reason why I carry is for personal protection, protect my family. Things are going freaking haywire in this country. Everybody knows it. People think gun control is the answer. Uh, if you think gun control is the answer, uh, again, you're a fucking idiot. Um, because guess what? We had a lot of these rules uh, and laws in place before Obama's stupid executive orders. And now mind you, an executive order is not a law. You don't follow those. They're just executive orders. Congress passes and makes laws, not the president. Okay, so get that through your head now. But as for gun control and everything, we don't need gun control. We need politicians, we need lawyers, we need DAs, we need officers. They're gonna bust their ass to put these damn criminals behind bars and stay behind bars. 
And the more and more that these people keep doing the same stuff over and over again, I wanted to make sure that it gets harder and harder for them to even want to live in this life. Okay? I mean, look how – I mean, like seriously, people. You don't need more gun laws. You need people that are going to step up to the plate and take the laws that were already in place and enforce those laws to the highest caliber. Okay? That's what we need. That's exactly what we need. Um, so, you know, I mean, that, but that's just my opinion. That's how I see it. That's how simple it literally is. Okay? Because the only people that actually do follow gun laws or follow any laws, period, are people like me and people like you that are law abiding citizens. So, when the you know the criminals out there are going oh haha ha, these people are getting stricter and stricter gun laws that means it's gonna be harder and harder for them to protect themselves with the firearm so that means we could fuck shit up and get away with it a lot quicker because no one's gonna be able to protect themselves and we know dang well cops really don't come to a scene depending on the emergency of it you know from five to seven minutes or so sometimes I have seen cops where they reported to an incident within two minutes but that might be because they were nearby and it depends on how big your local law enforcement force is like I live here in a in a, in a decent small town in Wisconsin I live here in Delavan Wisconsin and you know of course this force is kind of under scrutiny just because uh, a local cop was arrested for basically spousal abuse against his wife yeah, there are bad cops out there. There are stupid cops out there. There are awesome cops out there. I've met a lot of awesome, awesome cops, um, even sheriffs and everything like that. So, you know, just because there might be one or two or a handful of bad apples doesn't mean the whole patch is bad. It just means there's some idiots that it's time for you to go. Um, but, you know, with our force, you got your you got your city and you got your township, and then you got your Walworth County, and you got your county sheriffs. Well, the city uh, of Delavan here in Wisconsin, they have a good enough force. Could they use a lot more people? Hell yeah, they could. I don't. I, I wish I could get a dash cam camera just to show how much stuff I see on a deal. I've seen a drug handoff at the local Walmart. Okay, I sat there and watched these guys do a complete, hey, here's some drugs, put it from the trunk of a, uh, of a, of a Chrysler 300, a greenish, you know, kind of a light greenish forest color, into the back of a freaking minivan. I know damn well it was drugs, because as soon as I pulled up next to these guys, they kind of gave me this weird odd look, and they drove off to another side of the parking lot and did their handoff over there. So it, I mean, it was right there in front of me right I even had my daughter in the back of the truck I was like wow and I was glad I had my pistol on me because they could have done something about it so anyways um enough of that uh that's one of the reasons why I got like I said I got this pistol because the vers versatility of it a lot of holster makers out there for this pistol lights a lot of light options magazine options uh you know for if you want smaller mags larger mags um, a lot of sites out there for it, a lot of aftermarket parts, whether it's a magazine release, back straps, slide release, or, yeah, slide release, slide removing release, um, you know, there, there are barrels, I mean, you know, barrels, mag end caps, which I'm, I saw some from Tackle Shit, I'm probably going to get some on there, uh, you know, the, the little back piece right here, the retainment back piece, um, get that and everything like that so you know it, it's a very like I said it's very very versatile um, and that's the reason why I went ahead and traded it out um, now for like I said for other things I have changed for my everyday carry um, I will be trying to get a dual magazine uh, pouch uh, holster set up just because I only have one single, I'm using that cheap one, like I use my Bursa Thunder Pro, that little single, it was a flashlight holder. Um, that's what I'm using for this, so I'm only carrying two complete mags. Um, I rather, I would like to carry all three. Um, I don't have to, 
Uh, I don't really see myself getting in that much of a firefight, so it's not too much of a big deal. Um, but uh, but yeah, it, it's still kind of I'm still kind of up in the air with that. Um, now for the thing I added to my everyday carry, uh, I don't know if y'all remember that uh, Bushnell TRL, TRL 125 flashlight I was carrying. Well, these are from from Bushnell. Uh, the same. Uh, basically flashlight setup except these came in a dual pack personal on yourself like this is perfect it's a little 50 loom so it's not that bright but it's bright enough um, that within 7 to 10 yards I can tell if someone's got a knife or a gun on them um, and this could fit right there in your little change pocket in your uh, jeans perfect little thing little metal clip um, I don't know if you can see all that stippling on there and everything really awesome grip and if you see the teeth on that thing in all reality, that will hurt the crap out of someone if you slam it against their head, their hand, you know, whatever. It's going to hurt. Um, so I think that was an awesome design. Uh, this is a 350 looms and a 125 looms. Or, yeah, I believe 125. Um, but it's also got this awesome feature. I don't know if you can see it. See the, All right, so you got this little red tab thing here. So you got unlock... And you slide it over to there, and that's lock. What lock does is I click it on, nothing happens. Okay. And that keeps the flashlight from coming on. And then you click it to the solid white dot. And then you got your 350 high, 125 low. And then you, you can't really see how fast it is, but... Um, and then you got your 350 stroke. Um, and it's got teeth. It's basically a larger version of the 50 looms I think it's an awesome flashlight little metal clips got a, it's that little metal clip is it, it's got a lot of retention to it um, but a really awesome farm this takes two double a uh, the smaller one takes one triple a um, so I gotta kind of keep a tie keep an eye on the time got still pick up my daughter from school um, still carry the same uh, knife um, oh, sorry, uh, back to the flashlights. Eh, I kind of get a little too carried away. Um, as far as the flashlights, it, I got them at Walmart for $29.67. Could be wrong, it was $29 and some odd cents. But uh, very awesome flashlights. Bright as hell. I mean, it's 350 looms. You shine 350 looms at a person within 10 yards, it's going to hurt their eyes, especially if they're not used to something that bright. And with the strobe, um, that that's gonna disorient someone I actually saw uh, a video of someone doing everyday carry where they kind of had a flashlight like this and they said that they disabled the strobe because they think civilians don't need strobe flashlights I don't know if that person is ever gonna see me in my videos or anything like that but in honest reality that is the dumbest thing I've heard besides the fact of the whole 45 caliber man stopping power ammo. I would actually like to see the 45 caliber man stopping ammo. If you can actually find it, I want to see it. Just like people saying, "Oh, you know, I got this silencer. You know, I got this silencer for my pistol." I would actually like to see what a silencer looks like. Seriously, because there ain't no such damn thing. It's called a suppressor. It suppresses. It downsizes the decibels, you know, the of your firearm. You know, the it's just downsizing the report of your firearm that's it you can still hear all the mechanics of the firearm going off you can still hear the fire the pistol being fired from a close distance from a long distance it's just it's just downsizing the report of it it's not silencing it it's not making you know drop dead freaking you know it's not making it that damn quiet all right so um yeah anyways uh strobe lights are perfect for disorienting uh, any individual um, now be advised if it if you if you're at night and you go to click on the strobe and it's making you feel a little oozy or something like that using a strobe light probably won't be the best idea you want the person to be disoriented not both of you um, so that's the reason I'm glad but you know I mean this is a pretty good little flashlight it's what three or four inches long or something I don't know um, but, uh, 
yeah, uh, great little flashlights. You know, I still got this knife. Um, what a two and a half, three inch blade. Um, it's pretty long. I mean, one handed. It's got a little syringe right there for your thumb. Um, you know, a little lip right there so your fingers proud try not to slip past but they might if you're you know really wet and you're wearing not wearing gloves um your hand might slip i keep these really sharp um now mind you that when you buy a new knife it's not going to be at the sharpest uh um just because they, they just get it to a machined uh sharpness to a certain level that's it you would have to actually sharpen it to its full extent yourself um, and there's plenty of videos out there where they show you actually how to do it. You know, you go in an angle on one side, one way, go the opposite way on the same side, you know, do that on both sides of the blade, then use the fine stone, um, and everything. But, uh, so yeah, uh, otherwise carry my wallet still, carry my cell phone still. Um, one thing I do want to get is a watch. Uh, I do have a watch, but... Um, I want to get a G-Shock. Love G-Shock watches. Uh, very affordable, very user-friendly, especially if you keep the manual. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, for holster-wise, though, I think the other thing besides getting new sights is I want to get a inside the waistband. Uh, for winter time, I really don't need it inside the waistband because you're wearing long shirts, you're wearing long jackets, so it's very easy to conceal this pistol in the winter time with an outside of waistband holster. Um, I'm thinking about getting the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck or Tuck Cloak 3.0. Uh, my father actually just bought one. I was actually very, uh, very impressed with the quality work uh, that I've seen with them, uh, and you know my father he my father carries a pk380 so there's not too much weight to him um but he said he completely forgets sometimes that you know the holster and the pistols even there uh it's, it doesn't really and my father has a bad back bad hip uh issues and he says damn thing is comfortable as all hell uh so i'll probably get end up getting one uh get my wife one too she carries a pk380 uh can't carry right now. She can't carry concealed because she still needs to get her concealed carry license. Um, that and she's pregnant, so trying to you know with the whole waistband issue and everything like that. Yeah, you're not looking at inside the waistband anytime soon. Um, but you know, anyways, yeah, you know, this came thing. The Glock came with you know three magazines, a little nylon brush, cleaning rod, um, mag, you know, mag loader. And the mag loader is cheap, um, but will it help you load a mag? Yes. So it works. Um, so I, I really don't need another mag uh, loader. That one's perfectly fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, let you know in another video how well I liked it at the range. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see the same accuracy out of my out of this as my Bursa since they share, they share the same rifling. Um, they say it's polygonal and it it is and it isn't. Polygonal rifling is actually valleys and flats, not hills and valleys or valleys and hills. Um, so basically all that means is they took a regular rifling barrel and rounded off the edges um, so it's not rough sharp cut edges it's rounded so it's supposed to help with accuracy and everything um some people are like oh you know you don't get that much accuracy out of you know a polygonal barrel it's not very accurate regular rifling's accurate well the pistol's only as accurate as the shooter so mm, you know in reality i mean the same goes with the sights and everything you could be dead on accurate with these sights so but it's the reason why a lot of people get sights, now if they're smart enough, they're getting the sights uh, to help them get a better sight picture. Maybe these sights just aren't working for them to get uh, a sight picture that they would like. Maybe they want something different. Um, like that's the reason I'm going with the XS uh, standard dot sights because I want a, a more combat sight 
that give me a quicker, I could just really get on uh, the perp right away. And you could do the same thing with these sights and everything, but like I said, I'm going to take the rear sight out of the Glock, put on the Bursa and everything, um, just because that pistol really needs a rear sight change out really bad. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I know there's been issues. I know people are like, oh, sibling sucks. The, the, the recoil, dual recoil is just stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Well, then, you know, get a different freaking brand pistol. All right? And get one of those rubber slip-ons where you don't have to deal with the stippling. I mean, there, there's so many BS complaining nonsense out there about so... Uh, the, the dumbest things that people complain about this pistol and you know I, I used to be one of those people that was like oh I, I'm never gonna get a Glock because you know Glocks are just over glorified and everything but you know after really getting my hands on one and just really checking it out and looking at the aftermarket and everything I was like ah, I guess I'm gonna join Glock so um but yeah I mean I'll let you know how it does at the range and everything, how I like it. Um, if I notice uh, a difference in recoil, and I remind you, my Bursa Thunder Pro was supposed to have dual recoils, but it only came with one. Um, so I might be able to tell. Um, I mean, it depends. Uh, it's been a while since I can get out to the range. The weather here has been really cooperative, and we have an outdoor range. I haven't been able to find an indoor range for a pretty good price um, and a short drive. Um, so the whole thing of, you know, I, I think it's funny when people are like, oh, make sure you practice, 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 practice. Well, <laughs> make sure you give us places to practice, practice, practice. Um, it's a little redundant when you don't. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, um, paid $5.75 for this at a local gun shop. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, I like it. My wife thought it was a little big, but, um, but then again, like I said, she's got a PK3, so the grip is going to be a bigger than a three, uh, PK3, but she loves her Walter, so, you know, I, she likes it, she loves it. I want her to stay with it, um. And all just because it, 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 she already likes it. She loves it. Why get? Why try to accommodate? You know, why change things up if you already like and love something? Now, of course, yeah, I really liked and loved my Bursa, but <laughs> I needed something with more options. This came with more options. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this now because in about a few more minutes I have to go pick up my daughter. Um, but uh, you know. Comment, like, subscribe. I really don't care. I'm not looking. I, I, I'm not looking to, you know, get rich off this or anything like that. I just want, uh, just want to throw my opinion out there on what I like about it. Um, don't like, and there's nothing really I don't like about it. I think it's a really awesome pistol. I think the backstrap design is awesome. The interchangeable magazine I think is awesome. I actually had that on my Bursa. I think it was an awesome idea. Um, so, you know, you don't have to do this. You could just push, you know, you could just go like this rather than trying to do it with your thumb. But um, even with the magazine, you know, because you kind of have to do that, you can't, I can't press it from here. Um, so maybe moving it to my trigger finger, maybe, but uh, I could do it slightly. It'll take a little practice, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's awesome. I put the beaver tail thing on there, maybe to help with uh, flip, because I'm pretty sure I might have recoil flip or pistol flip, muzzle flip, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that would definitely help me tell, I think, with the little extra extension that, hey, yeah, it's definitely flipping back. You know, you need to strengthen up your grip and you know, uh, start, you know, doing some, uh, rope lifting, you know, so you put on a wooden dowel, kind of strengthen up your grip with your form and all. So, you know, who knows? Um, but I'll let you know, uh, see how things go. Um, but yeah, it, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, don't got anything else for you. 
but otherwise, stay safe out there, shoot straight, keep your head on a swivel, and, you know, just, yeah. So, have fun out there, and I will catch you all later, uh, on a later day. Have fun.